I think I found the best AI coding assistant so far. Not only does it do everything we would expect, so you give it a prompt and it outputs a project for you, but it can also iterate on that project easily, give you the Git file so you can actually see the diffs of each change, and most exciting, you can actually develop on top of an existing project, even very large projects. I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to use it, Let's go. So this project is called Aider, A-I-D-E-R, and it's by Paul Gaithier. Here's a little demo of it working. You basically spin up a new file or a whole project, and then you type out in a prompt what you want. It is all command line, so it's a little bit more complex in that sense, but I find it very straightforward to use. It uses GPT-4, but it also has support for GPT-3.5. I'm hoping soon that they'll support open source models as well. So I'm gonna be running this on my Mac, so keep that in mind as we're going through this tutorial. And then I'm gonna spin up a new Conda environment like we always do to get this installed. So Conda create dash dash name, Ader Python equals 3.11.3. I already have one named that, but we are gonna replace it. So I'm gonna hit Y and then enter. Yes, I do want the packages installed. Next, grab this command right here, conda activate ADA, and we're gonna paste that in. And now we can tell we're in the ADA conda environment because it says so right there. Next, we're gonna export our OpenAI API key. So I have that here. If you don't already have that, go ahead, sign up for OpenAI, and then grab an API key. And yes, I'm gonna revoke this API key before publishing this video. Then hit enter. And that's it, and now we can get started. But before we do that, I want to show you one more thing. Optionally, you can install something called universal C tags. And essentially what that is, is really it's the missing piece from being able to use large language models to extend really large code bases. The biggest problem is that with really large code bases, you're not able to provide all of that context into the large language model because of the context limitations. Now with universal C tags, it essentially spits out a map, a compressed version of your code base. So the large language model has the context of the entire entire code base easily. So here it talks a little bit about universal C tags. This is a project that has been around for a very long time. It has a bunch of contributors. It's very stable. And installation of universal C tags could not be easier. Using Homebrew, we do brew install universal C tags. And if you don't have Homebrew installed, it's really easy to install. I'll drop the download link in the description below. Hit enter and that's it. And now I already had it installed. So it's asking if I want to reinstall it. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed, but you'll actually get the installation confirmation when you're done. And to confirm we have C tags installed, we type C tags dash dash version, and we can see we have it installed right here. Next, we're gonna make a new folder called snake, and then we're gonna change directory into it. Now to use Ader, you just type Ader space, and then you can either not put anything and it'll look in the folder for your Git file and understand the directory structure of your folder, or we can simply create a new one, which I'm gonna do, Ader snake.py. And of course we're creating a snake game. And there we go, model GPT-4, creating empty file snake.py, GitHub repo, we don't have one, repo map is disabled, and here we go, we're in. Create the game snake using Python. Enter. Sure, I can help with that. We will need to use the curses library in Python, which is used for creating text-based user interfaces. So here it is. We can see it is in diff format. This is the original. Now I've tested this already and it did produce the snake game on the first go. Hopefully it does it this time around too. All right, there we go. It's done. Now it's just waiting for my next command, but let's test it out first. So switching over to Visual Studio Code, I've opened up the folder and I have the snake.py file open. Let's click play. There we go. Look at that. It worked on the first try again. But let's not stop there. I want to iterate on this because that is such an important feature of Ader. So I switched back to my terminal and now I want to do a couple things. Now add a score of how many pieces of food the snake has eaten in the top right. To add a score, we need to keep track of how many pieces of food the snake has eaten. We can do this by adding a score variable that increments every time the snake eats food. That sounds great. Now here's the diff, here's the original, and let's see what it adds. All right, and there's the updated version and it already applied it to snake.py. Let's give it a try. And look at that. There's the score up in the top right, exactly like I asked for. 
That is so amazing. Okay, I'm gonna make one more change and then I'm gonna show you a couple other features. Now, instead of having the pi symbol be the food, make it the number eight. First, it's gonna tell me what it's gonna do and then it's actually gonna apply these changes. So here's the original, curses.acs underscore pi and now it just has the number eight so that should work, but let's give it a try. Okay, so the first piece of food is pi, but after that, it's number eight. So I can probably just iterate again and get it to have eight from the get-go, but I'm not gonna do that now. Heading back to here, if we hit slash, we get a number of commands. So it allows us to add files, to commit files, to drop files, clear, we can get the diff, we can exit. We can do a lot of different things from within Ader, which is really convenient. So I'm gonna do slash exit, and now, I'm gonna iterate on one of my existing projects, and this is a pretty big project already. So I have my project called Pricer, and I'm just gonna type Ader. And if we look right here, it says repo map, universal C tags using 1024 tokens. So it is using universal C tags for this. And we have the Git file recognized. And the nice thing about universal C tags is it supports a lot of programming languages. So my project is in Ruby on Rails and it does just fine with that. So I'm gonna say upgrade Sidekick and the gem file to the latest version. To upgrade Sidekick to the latest version, you need to modify the gem file in your project's root directory. Please confirm that the gem file is read write so I can propose the necessary changes. Yes, it is. Great, let's proceed with the changes. And there it is. It's telling me what changes it's gonna make. That's the right line of code. And should we add it to the chat? Yes, great. Now let's proceed with the changes. We'll need to update the gemfile.lock file. This is automatically generated by Bundler, so it has knowledge of how Ruby on Rails works. It didn't just try to go update that .lock file, which would not be the correct pattern. You need to update the gem file, then run the Bundler, and then that automatically updates the .lock file. And then it says you should run bundle install to ensure the correct version of the bundler is used. So that's it. I mean, this is incredible. This is what I have been looking for. This gives me the ability to use GPT-4 on any project, continue to iterate on that project. This is truly a full featured AI coding assistant. I'm definitely gonna be using this for my projects. So please take a look. I'll link everything in the description below. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.